so <coughs> First, I'm going to go clean up a little bit. Then. That was a lot of fun, though. Man. You guys kept us yeah. very well healed most of the time tonight. That was a lot of fun. You got very intense. Yeah. Several times. Okay, we're live on my channel now. Alex, I can tell you this was a fantastic idea tonight, man. Woo. Oh, well, thank you. It was a shit ton of fun. It's my channel. I can curse on this one. Ooh, I got a move silently belt of plus 15 to move silently. I should have given that to you. Level up time. Well, they didn't, uh, if he doesn't switch over in the next few minutes, I'm going to, um, I'm going to stop streaming on my channel too. I'm afraid if I level up, I'm leveling up two levels though. Maybe not. Yeah, he logged off already. Huh, what? Oh, Spartan Law I was going to tell him again. Thank you. Wow, I am three bubbles in to level 17. Wow. I know, that's amazing. I'm probably just going to take the default stuff for Artificer. But I'm going to look and see.
Oh, idiot. I'm not on my artificer. I'm on my warlock. Da -da -da. Yeah. You went to the warlock trainer, right? Nope. <coughs> <coughs> you see? So now you understand why I, when I went to level up my paladin, I accidentally took a, level, a different level. What was it? Level of cleric or something? It tells you that you're about to multi-class into a different class. Yes, it does. That's how I knew. That's how I knew. It told me I was oh, about to multi-class. <clears throat> well, for me, my issue was I just click, 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 and I was done with it. So, let's see. I didn't actually read. What should I buff up in, Alex? As a warlock? I've no, got... Sure. I've got uh, plus three to intimidate, four, no, five to intimidate, four to jump. My used magic device is plus five. Diplomacy. I only have two points to spend. I guess spellcraft and jump, huh? Definitely some jump. <laughs> <laughs> I actually could take both of them and jump. That's fine. Ooh, pack damage. I get an additional 1d4 of damage with my Eldritch Blast. That's pretty cool. Oh, if I take Acrobatic, I get another plus 2 on my jump checks. Combat casting. Eschew materials is hard to pass up. Yeah, if you're a spellcaster, you definitely need that. But I'm I'm very tempted to take that packed damage because it gives me an additional one d four. On my Eldritch Blast to damage. Oh, I'm getting that automatically. Oh, I get both of those. Plus I get to pick. Oh, I'm done. If I get those plus I get to pick, I'm going to do a shoe materials. A shoe materials or quicken spell. Out of those two, a shoe materials. Yeah. Spell penetration. Oh, right. I could take toughness. I'm going to take a shoe materials. Guys. 
I leveled up. I'm right. level. I'm level 18, and I need a less than a thousand XP to make level 19. Oh my goodness! I must have banked level 17 with this guy for a long time. I'm almost level 19 already. Oh yeah, I must have banked because I've got eight action points to spend. All right, Alex, what we gonna do with this puppy? Uh, what your action points? Yeah, everything I've taken has been an enlightened spirit. Alex hasn't played a warlock before. He just started a warlock, and we haven't really played him much. Every time I want to play, you know, with those characters, Dana wants to do something else. Hey, Trilogy. How's it going, Hi. man? How you been? I haven't seen you in a while. Man, I don't know what to do. I got eight action points to spend on a warlock. I've taken a couple of things in Tainted, Tainted Scholar. I've taken something in Soul Eater. You're not focusing on one skill tree? I've already taken just about everything under Enlightened Spirit. That's why I started to branch out with the other two. The stuff in Enlightened Spirit that I didn't want to take, I didn't take. I bypassed them. That's true, and you're not epic level yet. You're getting close, though. I mean, I could do stuff like um, fortify summons, imbue summons, and issue some and um, display summons. It automatically displaces. It automatically does those things to any hireling or animal companion that I summons. It gets them like 25% fortification, 50%, uh, actually 100% for fortification if I do all three levels of fortify. Um, they get a plus 30 to melee range and universal spell power if I take all three of those. I have enough points to take all of this. And then they also get 25% displacement automatically. Do you, do you usually summon creatures, though, as a warlock? I've always, I always have a hireling. It applies to your hirelings as well. Oh. I always use a hireling. Oh, happy birthday, Trilogy. Yesterday was his birthday, yeah, happy guys. Birthday. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Happy birthday. And welcome Agaxian. He just started watching as well. Or she or she. I never did I never know what the what the sex of the watcher is on some of these folks. You can't tell with some of the names, you know, because they're uh Avatar names. A Gaxian sounds like a, a good male name, though. I guess I'll take this fortification stuff. I have one more point to spend. 
<laughs> You're welcome, dude. Check this out. Now, this is one that I can toggle. It's called Celestial Spirit. Listen to this. When enabled, not only do I float above ground, I gain feather falling, I'm immune to knockdown effects, and my Eldritch Blast gets an additional 3d6 light damage. Eldritch Aura also affects enemies every two seconds. I'm taking that. That is huge. Cool. I guess I have to pull up my character window and my feats. I'm going to have to rearrange my bar now. Man, I, I, I don't know what to put on my bars. I got so much stuff. That's it. I got it, Alex. Oh, yes. Where are you at? Uh, the Phoenix Tavern. I'm coming. I've got to show you this. Well, I think I'm going to call it a night. All right, sweetheart. I will see you guys tomorrow. Yep, don't forget, you're supposed to be streaming with me tomorrow night, so... If you don't, yeah, I understand. I haven't forgotten. I no, I didn't forget. I was preparing my character earlier today. Where in the Phoenix are you at, Alex? Oh, I'm there. I can see you, but you Oh my well, goodness. Well, you ain't here. Yeah, you're over by that thing. See, you're floating around right there. You just walked out the door. See, you're about to walk out. Oh, like you're in front of the, uh, you kind of have the spirit binder, huh? Yeah. Yep, New Year's streaming on the Lotro side tomorrow night. And actually, when we get done with Lotro, we may we may uh, jump on and, and stream some more on my regular Twitch channel. This thing gives me feather fall permanently as long as I have it in, uh, enabled and toggled on. Let's see. I float above the ground. I have feather falling. I'm immune to being knocked down. My Eldritch Blast um, do an additional 3d6 of light damage. And my Eldritch Aura affects enemies every two seconds. That's pretty good. Yes. This is going to be awesome.
Oh, look what it did to my eyes, too. Oh, dude, this is bad. I love it. <laughs> Dana, did you check? Where are you at, Dana? I'm on the airship. I'm looking at you on the uh, stream. Oh, you did? That is so cool. It looks really so cool. It looks really cool with the mask. Yeah, it does. Oh, I got the happies. You know what this means, right? This means I'm not going to bed. I'm going to go uh, run a couple of other quests. I've got to check this out. <laughs> I'm going to bed. All righty. Well, I will see you tomorrow night for some Lotro streaming. Yes, indeed. All right. Good night, guys. Love y'all. Good night, everybody. Love you, too. Bye. Good night. I'm going to continue streaming for a little while. I'm probably going to go fix me some coffee, though. I don't know what I'm going to run. I guess I'm going to head back to uh, the Vale and just run some Slayer stuff over there. I want to check out this additional 3D light damage. This is really awesome. <coughs> I didn't ask Alex if he wanted to continue. Nope, he's they're already offline. I guess he didn't. Wonder if the damsel's uh, kicked off yet? Not yet. This means I can get another another ring. I think it's a ring. I don't know what I had that had feather falling on it. Oh, there it went. Yep, I had a topaz of feather falling on my goggles. So I can replace that with something else. I love the floating stuff. I always wanted that feat. Or that ability. Yes, indeed. Hey, 
And for a second, I was hoping it would let me float on water. Yeah, as much as I got knocked down on the quest, I could have used this puppy during the quest, that's for sure. Oh, this is too cool. Man, some fast rats. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> yeah, let me find some more mobs here. I've never tried it. This is the first time. I just picked this one up as well, I think. Whoa! An instant kill? Really? I mean, dogs aren't that much anyway, but... Let me go back and find some more of those trolls. Holy, holy, holy. Let me find something else. That's what, let me, it's got a significant cooldown on it though. Exile one target enemy away from this existence, an enemy succeeding a will save versus a DC 10 plus warlock level plus charisma modifier is instead paralyzed and helpless for fear with six seconds. Six seconds. Does not affect bosses, cannot be activated if good. That is sweet. Holy, it doesn't affect bosses though. So no red names, I guess, maybe. Holy moly, that is awesome. Whoa, it only it only paralyzed him. But it must have had a will it must have done its will save. This is this is outrageous. I ain't gonna wanna go to bed now. 
How can you walk away from this? I know how I can walk away. I'm 50 years old. I need sleep. Whoops. Sure could have. And even my Eldritch Blast is doing some super... I mean, it is doing way more damage than before. Oh, I'm ten kinds of excited. This is awesome. I'm so simple. I do need to go turn in those quests. All we did was check out and level up. We didn't go turn in those quests yet. So we got the Greater Dane in here as well. Agaxian was on earlier, but I guess he dropped. this came out of the shoreline so I don't have to walk all the way back through that other stuff thought it came out right here somewhere I guess not well that was a mistake jumping into water We're probably going to run those quests tomorrow. Finish flagging for the Shroud. We'll be out here some point during the day tomorrow. I'll, I'll tweet it. It's the entire Vale and has turned into an important hub of commerce. I'll tweet it once uh, 
once we decide when we're going to start. They must be upstairs. Oh, he logged off. Up, oh, he logged off. I was gonna, I was gonna tell him hello. He helped us out tremendously tonight. I don't really use battle axes on this guy. The scepters are nice. Ooh, seeker plus seven, but I don't. I lose that striding. Not much guild renown. Really like the, the that seeker. Plus seven is really cool. I could take the topaz of striding. Off. The boots. Pull these boots off, use the topaz on the goggles, instead of feather falling, because I have feather falling with this feet. So I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. I lose the three points of jump, though. And I am weak in jump. Yeah, if I take the boots off. Jump those goes down to four. I get a plus three with the boots. It's zero without them. I'm not sure how to play this. Anybody got any thoughts? I'm leaning heavily towards those boots. Not worried about the swords because I, I use my Elders Blast. That's what I fight with 90% of the time. I rarely use any of these other weapons. I don't know. Let's find out. Looks like my speed is the same as it was when I had the boots on. Okay. Yeah. 
It looks like this feet gives me the uh, the striding. Because my speed is because because I'm floaty. The speed is there. Uh, actually. Yeah, it's faster. Yep. Apparently you stride when you float. That's with the boots on. See how fast I'm going from one end to the other? I'm going to take the boots off. It's noticeably slower. Look how much slower that is. Boots on. Look how much faster I'm going. That is a noticeable difference. <sighs> so the striding does affect it. Hate to lose that striding. And it's got plus 3D. Eight. Good damage to undead as well. God, those boots are phenomenal. What else could I put? Is there a green augment of striding? Probably not. I could drop a green augment on this ring if there is one of striding. What is that? Emerald? This game is going to occupy all my time. Hey, the damsels are on. No. So what's the oh? I don't know.
Sapphire of Heavy Fortification. Good luck. Armored Agility. Armor plus 5. Protection. Resistance. Physical Resistance. False Life. Topaz of Striding, 25%, so there is not. I can put it on the ring. Okay, how do you remove an augment? Is there a removable or removal? Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I actually... Nope. <laughs> May as well get five of them. I'm going to need two. There we go. I lost the jump. Okay. And I don't need the feather falling on this one anymore. But I don't know of anything else. I'll just leave it on there for now. Oh, I think I have some more quests to turn in up there, don't I? That wasn't the only one. Shh. 
shoot, I might take this necklace. It gives me tumble. And it gives me a plus seven to intimidate. No problem, Trilogy. This is working out well. Nope, not giving up death block. Legendary victory. That was an easy one. Uh, the damsels are on.
Man. Where are we at? <coughs> Let's see what's going on in here. Lef, a representative of the Twelve, waits to speak to you as you descend into the sewers. Good, you're here. Our mages have been feverishly creating the arcane traps we intend to use to waken Garko. Unfortunately, Garko is not alone. In fact, he's embedded himself in a gelatinous cube, a cube which appears to slave all those who touch it. Doubtless, Aratracos and Codex Page used the Codex Page to imbue Garko with the power to control the ooze. Really quite fascinating if you think about it. There's no natural affinity between oozes and... Never mind the lecture. What do we need to do? Trap Garko, you'll need to activate three sigils that can be found in the lower section of this sewer complex. If Garko strikes an activated sigil, his power will be diminished. He'll also be teleported to the next sealed passageway. The next what chamber. then? After striking the third sigil, he should be transported to a chamber. Seek him out there and defeat him. The power granted to him by the Codex page should have been leached should have been leached to wade by our traps. Do be warned, though. The air near the water in the next chamber is fatal without the proper protection. This is a sewer, after all. We'll attempt to cleanse the air before you need to enter the chamber. The safety of the city don't fail us. A poisonous vapor bubbles up from the water below, slaying those without magical yep. protection. I've been through this a couple of times. Stand suspended within death touch the gelatinous cube. Before you can react, the huge corrosive ooze effortlessly consumes the members of the Twelve on the platform below. Garko strikes a magical sigil and is teleported further into the complex. This is actually a pretty cool one. Garko's minions bar you from proceeding further into the sewer complex. Man, they are tough. Man, they are super tough. Stay out of the way of that stuff, hireling. Man, these dudes are tough.
Oh, I ain't gonna be able to survive this. Whoo! I am not taking these guys down too easily. Wow. Now I'm stunned. Watch it. That's true, I gotta remember that thing, huh? It's, uh... <coughs> Slow to recover, though. Wish I could use that every few seconds. Come on. Can't focus on the shaman. He saved. Cannot get over how tough these kobolds are. Oh! Yeah, it was a delay, but it took him out. Holy moly! Good night, Irene. Well, I gotta watch it. There's a... Good.
I've got to put that in a better place on my bar. Christ, these things are incredibly tough. These are like Arnold Schwarzenegger bowls. Watch out. Split them. Yeah, I love back in. I'm on my own Twitch this channel at this point. Center of the chamber leads down to the lower sections of the complex. just me the rest of the group all went to bed you'll see what's on the other side just a collectible that went leveled up Went and leveled up. Got a couple of more abilities and I'm testing them out. Got some new boots. Nope, nothing down there. Always got to double check and make sure. Why, wow, there's a potion on the ground. Garko slides down the hallway inside his servant, Death Touch, the gelatinous cube. A single touch from the corrosive ooze could prove deadly. Look, I want you right here. Before you stand three runes, placed here by members of the Twelve. The runes create a sigil when activated. This sigil will depower Garko and teleport him to the corresponding sigil elsewhere in the complex.
This barrier prevents Garko from passing further into the dungeon. I know, it's pretty cool, the way they float around. A ladder slides in place, allowing easier access to this ledge. Oh, I missed it. Oh. Ooh, man. Well, this is so... This is going to be rough. So I can just go back this way. Maybe take a... This one... This quest is called Creeping Death. And now my jump is too high. I am not good at jumping. <laughs> I'm no good at this.
and there's another one over there that I missed. Sons of the guns. No! I am so bad at jumping. to go back that way. As the third rune is activated, a hum can be heard from the hallway outside. The teleportation sigil has been activated. Magic washes over the gelatinous cube when Garko strikes the sigil. The kobold vanishes, teleported to a different section of the sewer complex. I realize I'm sitting here with my tongue sticking out. That's hilarious. This pudding is hard to beat. Man, those oozes. I hate oozes.
This thing's making me sweat. Dog it. They save. He went and recovered? Goodness! These things are incredible! Ooh, give me the shivers! And I'm playing the game! We're going to die. <laughs> Unsuccessful. Two sigils left. Well, I'm going to call it for the night. <laughs> I'm going to take a break. Appreciate everybody tuning in and watching. Thank y'all. I really do like it when y'all all, all kind of tune in and check out what I got going on and what's happening. So tune in tomorrow. We're going to finish the uh, Shroud flagging quest and all that stuff. So appreciate it, everyone. Y'all have a good night.